Hello and welcome to St. Murray's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. With flu season on the horizon, the health department is heavily recommending that you get flu shots. Around the beginning of the school year, where the weather is starting to cool down and shift away from summer, the annual flu season begins to take hold across the hemisphere, and the St. Mary's Health Department is preparing to offer vaccinations through the local school system. It takes two weeks for your body to build up immunity to the influenza virus after receiving the injectable flu vaccine. Terry Prochnow, the Director of Public Health Awareness and Response Division to the County Health Department, said in an email, Getting your flu vaccine by the end of October offers the best protection. St. Mary's College is being criticized because of how they handled an alleged gun sighting. This morning at approximately 8 a.m., public safety received two reports, reports from two students witnessing an individual with what appeared to be a silver-colored pellet gun in his pocket near the bell tower. Stated in an email sent to students from the campus's public safety department around 11 a.m. that day. After contacting the St. Mary's Sheriff's Office and searching the area, it was sent out in an email that it was a false alarm and there was no lethal weapon in possession of the individual. In fact, it had been just a brushed metal medical phone case and a portable charger that had been mistaken for a gun. Some students said that college took too long to announce the reported sighting and currently faculty and the dean of students Leonard Brown are working in, on fixing this lack of communication. A presentation containing St. Mary's Public Schools staffing plan just sh shows just how much special education teachers have on their plates. Scott Schizerbach Director of Special Education for Public Schools said the staffing patterns took a similar to the last year. Preschools have an average of one teacher for nine students, elementary schools have 18, and middle and high schools have 15 students. The staffing plan documents the data input process procedures used by St. Mary's County Public Schools to determine the number and types of service providers needed. On Tuesday night, the Leonardtown Raiders had a game against the Ramos Hornets. During the game, the Raiders were able to score twice in the first half and they kept going with their strong attack. In the second half, by scoring Three more times, they kept the pressure on the Hornets by scoring one last time with 14 minutes left in the game. The Hornets, however, wanted to go out with a bang and scored three goals, leaving the final score of this game, intense soccer game at Leonardtown leading 4-3. The Huntingtown Hurricanes had a blowout against the Chapticon Braves. The Hurricanes kept their streak of wins by beating the Braves 5-0. This score was fought for really hard by the Hurricanes. Alexic Zerota of the Hurricanes said that's probably our first tough game of the season. We really stepped it up more this game than any other game this season. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. Signing off.